from an area formerly called Khazaria, as attested by their own Jewish historians, scholars, and rabbis. The Palestinians, on the other hand, have a why wouldn't the slaves allowed to speak their language or write their language, but forced to write English and speak English? Well, when you look into the actual language that they wrote and sp spoken, you will see why these things had to be covered up. This is First African Baptist Church, the oldest black church in North America. The building built by slaves. The gentleman that laid the first brick laid the last. The balcony hold pews that actually were built by slaves. They have the oldest information in this building. That information is written in cursive Hebrew writing. That information is written in cursive Hebrew writing. That information is written in cursive Hebrew writing. Written in cursive Hebrew writing. Hebrew writing. Hebrew writing. Hebrew writing. Slaves found their first African Baptists in 1777, writing cursive Hebrew on the pews, proving first of all, not only could they read and write, but the language that they wrote was Hebrew. So it was not that the blacks could not read or write, but that they could not read or write English. Sound familiar? Deuteronomy 28, verse 49. And the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shall not understand. Now once you put the facts together, that not only did they read and write Hebrew, but many had Hebrew names, were circumcised on the eighth day, practiced Levitical laws of clean and unclean, and had a priesthood among them that they considered to be living sacrifices, you start to get the picture. Even more interesting is the fact that slaves were writing Hebrew in 1777 when modern Hebrew, which is spoken by the Ashkenazi Jews, did not exist until 1881. Facts. In parts one through four of this documentary, we address the Deuteronomy 28 curses, the most controversial of which 